Hey everyone, so welcome now to this uh, sixth part of this video tutorial series on how to edit audiobooks the Dion Audio way. Uh, what we're going to talk about now is less about um, delivery specs and, and, and um, you know, timing style or anything like that, and more just um, how to get more efficiency out of your workflow from, po from Pro Tools by using macros. Now, I've actually had some conversations with people where I tell them I'm using Pro Tools for audiobooks, and they go, oh, that must be awful. You can't keep multiple things in multiple clipboards. You just have that one clipboard. And actually, uh, with some macros today, we're going to learn how to use uh, Pro Tools with multiple things being stored in the clipboard. And basically how that's going to work is just imagine if we had a 75 and a 25 in the clipboard, right? And we wanted to be able to paste a one second pause, a 0.75 second pause, and a 0.25 second pause whenever we wanted. Um, if we were really quick in our hands, we actually could do that. Uh, command V would just give us the one second, a uh, command V, and then an option tab, and then a shift option tab, and then a clear and a space. That would give you um, uh, just the 25. Or if you command V, then tab, then shift tab, then command B, then uh, option tab, and then space, that would give you the 75. Yep. But uh, you, you saw even I stumbled on, on that. That's a lot of keystrokes to hit perfectly. Um, and you can tell I'm not used to doing it because I built those keystrokes into macros. And so um, I've got actually um, a, a KM macros file right here. These are how macros are stored for the program Keyboard Maestro, which is uh, our, our favorite for Mac users uh, doing audiobooks and Pro Tools. Um, so yeah, if you, if you, this should have been sent to you at some point, if, uh, if not, uh, come and get it from me, but it was made on a very responsive machine on an old lean version of Pro Tools. So we're probably gonna have to futz things, but that's good because we should get some practice, uh, editing and changing our macros. First of all, when you open up a uh, keyboard maestro, there might be some default macros in there. If there are just highlight them and hit this minus symbol right here, just get rid of them all. Uh, we don't want any of those default ones. They, a lot of them overwrite shortcuts you may already be using or probably are. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, just ignore all those and we're going to um, start with just uh, just our Pro Tools macros that we're going to create. Uh, just double clicking this while Keyboard Maestro is open will bring all of these in. You can see seven macros imported. And we're going to have some problems when you first start though. Uh, first of all, the Pro Tools uh, group that I just imported is disabled. It seems to just do that by um, default. And so you just need to click this checkbox down here and it'll enable it. The other problem is that it can't find our version of Pro Tools. So it's saying, oh, available on this application Pro Tools, but you can tell by this icon, <laughs> sorry, that it just can't find the version of Pro Tools um, it's looking for. So we just need to point it to our version of Pro Tools. This was made for Pro Tools 9, which is called Pro Tools LE. And it, it, you know, it had a different name, right? So now that we've pointed it to, to Pro Tools 2018, these should work. Um, the first one that's pretty important is that uh, this allows us to use the X keystroke um, that we've been using to clear, to, to just clear and not cut. It'll hit Command B, and then it hit X, hits X afterwards. That's just in case you're typing. But by that time, it's already Command B the um, audio away, so it won't be cutting anything. So that's really useful because then, you know, remember how we have our 75 and our 25 in there? What we don't want to happen is we don't want that to go out of our clipboard when we hit X to remove a pause. We want that to still be in there, and that accomplishes that. That's really important. High speed playback. Uh, let's see if this works. No. Right? And so the reason there is it seems to be stalling after uh, playback stops. What it's trying to do is hit the space key, then hit the space key again, just so in order to use our pre-roll that we've got here. We've got, you know, a little less than a second of pre-roll on there, and we want the high-speed playback to include that. But what's happening is the, is the macro is stalling after this uh, uh, second space key. And what's really happening is that Pro Tools is stalling in waking up and accepting new keystrokes after playback stops. So what we need to do is just put a little bit of time here. Let's try 0.25 seconds after playback stops in order for Pro Tools to kind of just wake back up and recognize our command nine keystroke. Let's try this. Their house was oh, cool. Nope, doesn't work. So actually, let's see if we even need this one and just Increase this one maybe to 0.33 seconds. Their house. Yep. The lumber to. Their house was small. Lumber to build. No, it still messed up that one time. So let's try like 0.37 seconds. House was. You don't want these to be larger than necessary, but you want it to almost always fire correctly. Their house. For the lumber to. House was. Right. Still not great. Let's try 0.39. 
house was small. For the lumber, their house. For the lumber, their house. The lumber to build. That's great. Okay, so now we're playing back at high speed with pre-roll, um, pretty consistently here. It looks like memory locations one and two. Remember, we want um to have um classic numeric keypad on for this to work, right? But let's see if it does. Option Q takes us to our take memory location. Option W to our edit memory location. That's great. So now we can. Cooks. Now we're flying, right? Until they. Were. Now we can get around, zoom out, zoom in. Blast. Right. This would take so many R's and T's and <laughs> adjusting, with... right? So that's great. We've saved so many keystrokes already, um, just with those. Option Q and Option W just taking one period and two period for us. So we don't have to take our hands off our mouse, right? Um, so these are the final ones. These are the ones that paste. Um, either both things in the clipboard or just one thing. Um, but I'm going to guess that they don't work. Let's see. We've got our 75 and our 25 in here. But let's try the command, the control V um, keystroke here, which should paste both of them. See, and it did exactly what I wanted to. It pasted both of them and created a fade. But it, again, it stalled at the playback. And remember what we were doing is we were putting about 0.33 seconds in there. So let's try that again. Let's try that tactic one more time. Hopefully this helps out. Get rid of all that. Nope, still not working. So maybe it's also um, stalling after the fade a little bit here. So I'm actually going to break the fade up. I'm option dragging this to um, duplicate it, and then I'm going to edit them down to their components. Right, so I'm going to get rid of that, and we get rid of that. So now this is just an F, and this is just two space bars, right? So if we put a little bit of time just after the fade for it to wake up from creating the fade, uh, maybe that'll help out. Let's try this. You see, you gotta get gotta get a little creative here. I can't just create macro files for all you. Right? Still, that didn't work. Okay. Um, I think this has to be even higher, is what I remember. Try that. What? Hmm? An odd M. That's not what's supposed to happen. Let's try that again. Their house was small. Okay. Their house. That seems to be working. Let's try. Let's try just doing this. House was small. It had to. Be in many months. Okay, great. So let's do, just do that same thing to all of these macros. Now we're going to put 0.14 seconds after the fade and 0.33 seconds after the uh, second space bar. There, right? Let's try that. All right, now let's see if we've got all of our macros set up. Control B. House was small. Just gives us a 75. Great. Control F just gives us a 25. House was small. Great. And Control uh, V gives us both. House was small. Let's see if it works even working quickly. Lumber to build it. Hmm. Carried by what? Okay, that was high speed. Miles. Walls of roof with and this roof. Okay, that seems to be working okay. Right. So those all seem to be okay. The only thing in here that isn't included in this uh, file that I'd like, though, is a keystroke to open the preferences. So I'm just going to make that real quick to show you guys how to make um, macros in Keyboard Maestro Editor. I'm just going to create a new one here um, in our Pro Tools group. It's going to be called Preferences. Keep it simple, right? New trigger, hotkey trigger. Control-P, keep, keep it simple, right? And then instead of um, adding the new actions, I'm just going to record it. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. Right, and had to click on a few other things there to get me out of it, so we can just delete those. We're just looking for this one, select preferences in the menu, right? So if that's all set up now, we should be good to go. Yeah, so now we can quickly 
adjust our shuttle lock speed as we go. Once we get used to 125, ah, we can try it 135 maybe. And there we go. And that's done with the control P um, keystroke. We've got all of our pasting macros. We've got our memory locations macros. We've got high speed playback just by itself as a macro. We have clearing with X just as a macro. So we can uh, use X to clear pauses without it uh, erasing the the uh, clipboard there. We've, we're, we're, we're really good to go. Now we can edit a lot of uh, paragraphs and commas and sentences with just a single macro oh, keystroke. So it's not you just have to highlight the pause that you want it to be replaced by. See? Oh, so it's not. And it doesn't have to be a 75 and 25. Depending on what book you're doing, often 85 and 25 will work great. Um, 75 and 35, that's another classic. You just kind of want to be paying attention to uh, what timings you're using a lot and try to include those in your macro somehow uh, so that you uh, can replace the four inputs of highlight, clear, drag, and play with just highlight macro. Highlight macro really cuts it down. All right, uh, that's about it. I think that's a pretty thorough introduction to all of those.